Good morning. As you already know, my wife's car has been returned yesterday and she already took it. It's not here. So I'm gonna take the rental car because I have to clean it, put diesel in it and return it. And two days ago, while I had that sweet tooth situation, I went to buy some sweeties and pastries and chocolate and stuff like that. And I bought this for the wife. She never ate it, so that's her loss. I'm taking it to work because it has to be eaten today or never. Hello, we're taking that car. Right, I'll see you there tomorrow. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye now. I have to go to the store really quickly before I go for Alex uh, because there's nothing really to make dinner for him from. And I have dropped this camera really bad today. And I hope that in the evening when I upload the footage to my computer, everything will be fine with it. Hello car, that's not enough pressure in those tires. Did you have a nice day? Mm-hmm. That's good. What are these? Gummy bears. Gummy bears? Right, I'm on a camera right now that has a different lens than the normal that I'm using always, the fish eye, uh, because I'm gonna be using the fish eye lens for something that is now a craze on Instagram mostly. This whole technique is called cinemagraph. How it works is that only a part of an image is moving and the rest is completely static. So it's like a cinema, moving images, connected with a photograph. Graph, cinema, graph, cinemagraph. And that's what we're gonna try to do. Um, everybody uses the Photoshop, Photoshop CC, uh, to be precise, because that's um, the version, the newest version that can edit um, video and convert them to GIFs. It's just easy with uh, roto masking and, and with masking in general and with exporting. But what I'm gonna try to do, because I don't use Photoshop CC, uh, what I'm gonna try to do is to do the same thing, Cinemagraph, in a Photoshop and uh, Premiere uh, video program. So that will be kind of more complicated, but the effects will be the same. So basically you won't have to spend money for the newest, best software. You can just use whatever you've got. At least I'm gonna try that. Right, now that's done. I got the footage and I got the picture. Now I have to just redo it all, which means I have to um, cut myself out of the image first, create a PNG, then throw everything into a um, film editing software, in my case it is Premiere Pro, 
and then combine it. Right, can I show you that somehow? Anyway, I'll try to use that camera. Everything got mixed up a lot right now. Right, so this is the image I got. Obviously, it's, it's ridiculous because normally it's like that. And that would be the picture, the, the, the film, that's just one frame. The film that will be edited. But now, what I'm doing, I, I just put on two masks, brightness masks. So I can see myself, and I'm going to cut myself out of this. Not really very clean, it doesn't have to be super beautiful. I mean, I don't know. I'm doing it for the first time ever in my life, because when I hear people saying you need to have this and this software for that, otherwise it won't work. What a load of crap. Software is only a thing that allows you to make your ideas I don't know go from from your mind up to like reality but it all depends on you how you use it and what you're gonna do with it and for me saying that something is impossible without this kind of software is just an excuse for you know going the short way Obviously, what I'm doing right now might take twice as more time and you have to be more kind of precise and and it's more kind of complicated, but still, it does the job very well. All you have to do is put in the work. That is it. You see, I don't have to be that precise. Anyway, I'm going to try to be as precise as possible without you know sitting on it for too long although it's not it's not a competition who's fastest but if i could be you know faster than the original that would be cool this image looks absolutely ridiculous you know what i mean by the um by those two masks on it brightness masks or brightness filters this is ridiculous Right, that's me cut out, more or less. I'm gonna copy this, uh, copy. Right, get rid of that. Mm, that makes sense, kinda. Looks a wee bit ridiculous, but bear with me. It'll make sense. It'll all make sense when you see the, the end result. Actually, uh, what I'm going to do is format that, I mean feather a wee bit, well, let's say 10 pixels, 10 pixels should be okay I would say, um, copy, yeah it's not so rough. But maybe let's do 30 pixels. I do like that result. Yes. Uh, copy it. Now I'm going to save this as a PNG. Therefore, the background will be obviously invisible. So when I throw it into Photoshop, uh, sorry, into uh, Premiere Pro. That will do the trick. PNG, uh, let's call it me. And there you go. This is my first ever cinemagraph.